Welcome back to Spirit Lifter. We're back to Belgium to sample what to many is a familiar beer, but with a special hoppy twist. The brewers we're looking at today have been a family-run business for four generations, going all the way back to 1871, when Jan Leonard Mutgat started a brewery on his farm with his wife Maria. The competition was stiff, with his upstart having to compete with 4,000 other breweries in a nation of just over 5 million. During the First World War, Jan Leonard's sons, Albert and Victor, would be exposed to traditional and hoppy English ales as trench warfare ravaged the land. With the armistice, this exposure prompted Albert to visit Scotland to procure the appropriate yeast, which over a century later is still used in brewing their flagship Duvel to this very day. However, we're trying out a stronger and even hoppier spin on this already burly brew. Introduced in 2019, in the wake of critical acclaim for another variety made with citra hops, this Belgian India Pale Ale is made with a trio of Zaz, Styrian Golding, and of course the famous Kashmir hop strain. The namesake hop of this brew is a hybrid of Cascade and Northern Brewer, and lends distinctly lemon-lime and melon flavors to the beer. If you're put off by the prospect of nothing but bitterness, it's worth noting that this rendition of Duvel uses Kashmir in dry hopping. Get your damn head out the gutter. That means instead of boiling the hops to impart straight bitterness, the Kashmir strain is instead added after boiling, to release its characteristic tropical flavors into the beer. Besides a hefty and hoppy backbone, this IPA sports a fairly high alcohol content, coming in at 9.5% by volume. Much like the slightly tamer brew, the Duvel Cashmere pours a brilliantly bright gold. Owing to the addition of sugar in the bottle for secondary fermentation, the bubbles come at you heavily and steadily. The heavy carbonation carries dank, weedy aromas. While the hops are pronounced, they aren't a sledgehammer of bitterness. It is certainly a strong beer in both alcohol content and hop character, and while a single bottle may sound a bit lacking, the dry and bubbly finish is like sparkling wine. It demands your attention. So savor it. A Belgian IPA such as this calls for something to eat, preferably a course that will coat your stomach and play along with that pronounced hop trio. I'm thinking grilled mahi-mahi with twice-fried Belgian frites served with a side salad. And keep things simple with the fish, just your favorite seasoning, salt, and black pepper. If you want a little more flavor, a slice of lemon squeezed over the filet will bring out some of that flavor in your glass. Even if fish isn't your jam, be sure to have something to eat. This little devil packs a punch. Thank you kindly for watching. A shout out once again to Stuart Brown and his Beverage Guide Express series. He covered the original Duvel years ago and it was inspirational to my own project. Let me know if you've tried one of the lesser known labels from Duvel. I myself felt unsure about whether I like the cashmere or the citra hop version better, but there really is no such thing as a wrong choice here. Not when such an unassuming appearance can pack such robust flavor. Looking forward to the next time we can savor another drink together, my friends.